Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and this is the Fluffy Oracle. So today's pick a card is going to be all about what can you expect for Valentine's Day? What's coming in for you that day? New love, more love, some awesome gifts, some dates. Who knows? Let's find out. So your choices are for pile one, we have the blue Yoshi. Pile two, we have the Lemurian Lithium Quartz. And then pile three, we have a triple Herkimer Diamond to pick from. Timestamps will be down below in the description box as usual. And also in the first comment from my mobile users, I will also have some links as well for each of the decks in case you'd like to add to your deck collections to know what they are and also to check them out to see how much they are in case you'd like to order them as kind of like a gift for yourselves or maybe for a friend or a loved one or even your valentine for possibly if they're into that type of thing which i hope they are <laughs> just kidding just kidding um I just want to say thank you guys so much, especially for all the love you guys have been giving me. I've read all the comments in all my live stream videos, and I know I missed a few, but I want to say thank you guys so much. I will be doing that again this weekend. I will see you guys again for the live stream as usual at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If anything changes, I will definitely put it in the community section on my profile for you guys to know as a heads up ahead of time in case the time needs to change for me and we will be doing Saturday and Sunday again so if there's any topics as well that you would like to talk about I will post a community post later on today for Saturday's live stream and you can put your topic that you would like me to kind of touch on for that live stream for then also at the end of this reading I'm going to be using some rebel deck cards from the couples rebel deck and I'm going to do a little bibliomancy from the lover, um, the love oracle book to see what we can get for some divination from that as some cheeky guidance. Alrighty. So without further ado, if you need any extra time, go ahead and pause the video now. And otherwise I will see you at your pile. Also, I want to say thank you guys so much before we jump right in for liking and subscribing to my channel and if you're new here go ahead and feel free to consider hitting that subscribe button down below for me and giving this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos alrighty so for my love soup chose pile number one the blue Lassie. let's jump right in and yeah I had to do that just for some fun I couldn't help myself I love Yoshi <laughs> but anyways these tarot cards here in the center are going to be the heart of the entire matter and give us a general overview of the entire reading. These cards right here on the sides are going to give us some extra expanded guidance for what may be coming in the day and how we can kind of deal with it and go about things and maybe some extra hidden surprises. Who knows? Let's find out. And then these up here, these heart cards are going to be some extra messages of love just for you. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So at first, I'm going to have these tarot cards kind of facing myself so I can get a good look at them and see exactly what I get. And then I will turn them to face you so that you can see them. So we have fertility with Cleopatra. So with this card, I feel like there's going to be some um, definite bonding going on. That day and a deepening of emotions, obviously, for those who are in a relationship. And I feel like also kind of sharing some moments with your pets, even if you aren't in a relationship and giving them some love and them giving you some much needed love as well. And then we have the nine of cups with wish fulfillment. So I feel like whatever you've been hoping and wishing for may be possibly be coming in because we have wisdom which is the high priestess in this deck which for me i feel like you intuitively know that something's coming in special for you but you're not exactly sure what it is but you kind of feel it in kind of like a loving way like a new relationship like some of you who are single i get the feeling that you've been hoping for that kind of knight in shining armor to t to uh come in for you guys and then we have the three of coins so with the three of coins, I feel like you've been doing a lot of work almost kind of on your own and kind of wishing you could get a little bit of help on the side with someone. 
with kind of bringing them in and kind of getting them to come out of their tower and kind of socialize a little bit more. And then we have magic with Merlin, magician card for this deck. So with these cards, I feel like you have everything you need in order to make this relationship work is what I get with this. I know this is a new way for me to do my uh, readings for you guys, so bear with me here. But I know that you have, with this card, with the High Priestess card, you have all the knowledge that you possibly could need and foresight to make this work and kind of how to bring it in to make your dreams and uh, wishes come true with this, especially if it's for a loving, committed relationship or for that little certain someone to put a little ring on it. For some of you out there, if that's what you've been hoping and wishing for, that's what I get with those cards. So, so far it's looking pretty good. So let's see what else we get. So we have simplicity. Put your energy into the basics and let go of excess. And then we have laughter. You need a good laugh. So simplicity is best, and I feel like it's going to be kind of like an aha moment when that comes in for you, and it's going to be like, really? It's that easy? Seriously? And it's going to make you laugh a bit because it's going to be absolutely hysterical as to how easy it was because I don't think that you really kind of see it being that easy, but your intuition is kind of like, it really is. I'm trying to show you that. So listen to your intuition and kind of like less is more type of attitude is what I also get with this. So let's see what we get with the other guidance cards. So we have the goddess. So with this card, I feel like a little bit of self-care is going to go a long way with this. And it's going to make you look absolutely bomb for that little someone that you're thinking of. Well, not little, but that's someone that you're thinking of. And it's also going to help you to attract that someone that you're thinking of and that you've been hoping and wishing to pull in. And then we have celebration. So when this person comes in for you on Valentine's Day and you get exactly what it is you've been hoping and wishing for, I feel like it's going to be a tremendous relief and it's going to give you a sense of peace and kind of like being on cloud nine. And then we have fear. Don't panic. It's not exactly what it means. So with this, I feel like don't give in to fear mentality like as if it might not happen because I feel like at the last second, for some of you, it will happen. And also, if some of you feel like you have like a fear of commitment with your partner or they, they have a fear of commitment with your part with you, excuse me, like as if your partner has a fear of commitment, it's all right to kind of sit there and have a one-on-one -on -one talk with them and to kind of get... An under, a full understanding of how it is that they exactly feel because sometimes people have like a little bit of doubt, a little bit of fear in all relationships. It's normal. It's completely normal. But you have the strength and the knowledge to get past this and the drive as well to get over that fear. Also, if you are shy, let's suck it up. Really suck it up, buttercup, because... If you have that fear of talking to someone, how is it that you think you're going to get this person to kind of talk to you? And it's going to kind of also freak you out in the meantime when they do come up to talk to you because it's like, okay, well, I did this. So now I'm getting, you know, exactly what I wanted. What do I do now? Don't have that kind of mentality. Know that it's okay. Swallow and just go with the flow. Yeah, swallow. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <sighs> I do it every time to myself. I stick my foot in my mouth and I say something silly. <laughs> that does not come out right. Oh my God. But anyway, swallow your fear. Handle it and know that you have the courage and the strength to do this. You have everything it is you need to make this relationship work and to pull this soulmate in. Sorry about that. Somebody seems to have dropped something going out of the house and it made a loud crash. So my dog kind of like went ballistic. So. 
As for swallowing your pride, not swallowing your pride, swallowing your fear. Some of you, it might be a little bit of a sense of pride, especially with your partner. They need to have a little bit of like suck it up moment and swallow their own pride and say exactly what it is that they need to say and talk to you heart to heart with what I get with this. But anyways, so let's see what these last messages are for you. So we have reflection. Give each other some peace at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So with this, I feel like swallowing your fear and talking to that person that you might have cr have a crush on or your partner about things that you would like to do or have happen in your relationship to make it that more of a commitment is what's most needed. But giving it time and some space may also be what's um, needed as well for some of you out there. And then we have when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So with this card, I feel like you will end up having a very closer, very closer, a very deepening bond by the end of the day, especially with having those heart to heart conversations, especially because it's the day of love for everybody, or at least those who celebrate Valentine's Day. And for those who are single, I feel like you'll have more of a sense of self love that day, because I feel like. When you take a little bit, little bit more pride in yourself and kind of like putting in that little bit of extra effort to make you feel a little bit more wonderful. I know I, I have that with myself as an example. When I do my hair and makeup, it makes me feel like 10 times better about myself. Like I just, I don't know, it just, it makes me feel really good because I love to do art for the most part. I don't really draw anymore. I just like painting my face with a ton of makeup sometimes. Not a whole, not a whole, whole lot, but just here and there. Because if I do my face with a whole lot of makeup, my skin is like, nope, we're not having it. You're going to find out tomorrow with an allergy attack. No idea why, but it does happen, especially with some of the cleansers that I have to use to take off the makeup, which sucks. Anyways, we have look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So, if there is some fear or some doubt about a relationship working out, take a moment to go within and understand what's making you actually feel that way and what might be actually triggering in that, triggering that in you with that. Because I feel like whatever it is, is kind of like grown on you, but there is a way to kind of nip it in the bud is what I get with this. And to kind of get over that fear and let it go. And to kind of weed it out. Because I'm really attracted to all the plants in this picture. So. These are your messages. I do hope that they resonated. And that you guys have a wonderful and an amazing Valentine's Day. And I will be back with some more love readings. Within the next couple of days. For you guys. And I will see you next video. And for those of you who choose to stick around at the end. For the extra cheeky guidance from the Rubble Deck. I will see you at the Rebel Deck Pole. Alrighty, so for my loves, we chose pile number two, the Lemurian Quartz. Let's see what we get for you. These tarot cards right here are going to be the overall um, kind of theme for that day and give us kind of like an overview of what might be coming in for you for that day and get to the heart of the matter, so to speak. These cards out here are going to be for some guidance and some extra help to kind of deal with some of those energies that may be coming in for that day and also a little bit of some extra surprises as well possibly and then these messages up here are going to be some extra messages of love for you so when i do the tarot cards i'm going to kind of face them towards myself so i can see exactly what i can get and then i will face them back towards you because this is a totally different setup for me and i do hope that you like it though with this type of angle so let's see what we get for the tarot cards So to start off, we have the Five of Cups. With this. So with this card, I feel like some of you have been feeling kind of lonely, a little bit down and out of luck on love. 
But I feel like there might be some hope because there is a light in the back here and I'm kind of drawn to that. And then we have oppression, which is a tower moment. So with that card, I feel like something's definitely going to be coming in out of the blue and it's going to take you by storm and you're not going to really see it coming because her back is, you know, towards the uh, storm in the background. And then we have the princess of coins. So with the princess of coins, I feel like there's going to be a new offer coming in. But I'm also going to go back over these as soon as I'm done kind of going through them. Because we have the three of arrows, which in this deck is the three of swords. So if you're dealing with heartbreak and kind of like a split at this time, I feel like, like if someone had offered to make a split, I feel like there's going to be some healing that needs to take place as well for some of you out there. And then we have the Ten of Wands, which it's going to take some hard work to get over whatever the heartbreak was. But let me take a look at these cards and see what else I get and see if I can pull some positive messages out of this for you because I know there are some. There's got to be. At least I like to look at the more positive side of things. So if you're going through the heartbreak and you're doing all that hard work to heal and get over things. I feel like you're definitely going to have an aha moment or a breakthrough with this tower card that's going to help you to get over this. And it's going to cause you to have a new outlook on things because I feel like there's a blessing in disguise with this. Regardless if you have the three spilled cups, you still have two standing. So there's still love there. Even if it's just for yourself and around you, you still have love. But you also have an opportunity to have new love with those two cups with someone. And I feel like they're right in front of your face and that you just haven't kind of seen it yet. Because they're kind of just waiting for you to notice them. Is what I get. So I know some of it kind of sucks when you just have a fresh breakup, especially around this time of year. Oh, dear God. I'm sorry, but I know how hard that it can be and crushing that it can be for some people. And it's kind of like really cruel for someone to break up with someone around Valentine's Day or on Valentine's Day. I've seen that happen a bunch of times. And I think it's really fucking petty and stupid and just really low, in my opinion. But shit happens for a reason in my opinion and usually it's for the better because if that person's gonna do something stupid and cruel like that to you they deserve whatever comes after that and nips them in that in their you know in their tuchus <laughs> you know because you always in my opinion i feel you guys always deserve better you deserve nothing but the best and nothing but respect and love and admiration in my heart and my thoughts and feelings for you guys so let's see what we get for some extra um, guidance for this and see if we can um, make this even better for you. So we have, it's okay to be different. You don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect just as you are. So don't, if you're sitting there single or you've just had a breakup with someone, know that it's okay and that you don't need to be in a relationship all the time because sometimes you need a little me time in order to get yourself back in check because we also have the thankful card. It says, think about the people and the things you feel grateful for. So with this, I feel like it's a blessing in disguise. If this person is broken up with you, it'll be just in time for some new love to come in because I feel like there is someone right there, right in front of your face that you're kind of not being able to notice just yet because you're still worrying about the heartbreak over here with the three um, cups that are on the ground because we had the three of swords. And I feel like it's it's right there. You just got to kind of turn around and see it. And kind of take your hand away from covering your eyes and, you know, look at exactly what it is that you have and be thankful and grateful for those things that you do have and the ones around you that you do have that do love you and want to share their love with you. 
And I feel like your pets are also, if you have pets, they're going to help, they're going to help you to get through this time emotionally because they're, they're going to give you all the little love that they have, which is quite a big love in my opinion, because my puppy always kind, kind of like love bombs me every time she sees me down or if she, she even senses that something's wrong with me. She jumps on my lap and just says, mom here, you need some kisses. I don't care. You're just going to take the kisses. And she will literally take her paw and hold my arm there or whatever it is she's doing. She's just going to take her paw and hold me down. <laughs> and she's done that to me. I promise you. And then we have transmutation. So with whatever is going on with you, there's going to be a lot of trans transformation with this. It's going to transform you into something better, something more beautiful. And it's going to be like a phoenix rising is what I get. And then we have sacred union. So there's definitely a new relationship on the horizon for you. It's just in the shadows because I'm really attracted to how kind of like shadowy these people are in this card. It's there. It's coming. You just got to shine, so shed some light on it because that's probably why I'm attracted to all the light in this card in the background. And then we have love. Couldn't be any more perfect. So there's definitely love coming in for you and love there for you. And as soon as you're able to be open to it and turn around and see it or open your eyes to it, it's just going to hit you like out of nowhere. And it's going to cause like a wow effect. And it's going to be like, wow, it's going to be your tower moment. that's going to come in for you with this new love. And it's going to be an awesome and amazing relationship. And it's going to transform you for the better. And it's going to lift you up out of that depression or that kind of like loneliness feeling. And it's going to make you have just that cloud nine effect is what I get. All right. So let's see what we get with these extra messages of love. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So if you are on a break from someone, allow them that space is what I get from this. Let them think about what it is that they had with you and let them come back to you if that's what's meant to happen. And then we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So there is definitely someone there for you that wants to come in, especially out of the shadows and out of the dark with you. So it's coming. Have faith. And kind of like shed the light on it that needs to be shed on it, especially if it's directly in front of you. Think about whoever the first person is that pops into your mind at this moment that's going on with this reading, this person that's kind of right in front of you that you're kind of going, who in the hell is in front of me that I am missing for this? Take a deep breath and whatever the first name pops in your head, explore that option for whoever it is and kind of talk to them, you know, see where they're at. Maybe ask them out or, or something on Valentine's Day or to dinner, whenever. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. It can be whenever you want. It doesn't matter. Whenever you're ready. And then we have look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So there is definitely a secret admirer is what I hear with this card and someone who wants to come out of the shadows for you and come and sweep you off your feet. And I feel like they are going to look deep within your soul and you are going to be able to see deep within their soul and it's going to be an amazing connection when you guys see each other face to face. And it's going to be kind of like love at first sight is what I get with this. So these are your messages. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading and that it resonated with you. And remember that this is just a general reading and that if you would like to book a personal reading with me, all that information will be down below. And please remember that I am running a February special till the end of the month for two questions for 20 bucks. And I also have my regular rates as well. And all those rates are in my community section. It's, you're just going to have to do Dig a little bit with a couple of posts or just hit me up through an email and I will send you the rates and whatever I have. It does not have to pertain to love with whatever your questions are. They can be whatever questions you want them to be on for whichever reading that you want to book with me. So that two question special is actually my one question fee. So you're getting a hell of a deal for two questions for 20 bucks on a one question deal. So 
Without further ado, I will see you guys at the end for the Rebel Deck messages. And for those who choose to skip that, know that I love you. And I will see you next video. Love you. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose pile number three, the Herkimer Diamond, let's get into this, shall we? So these tarot messages right here are going to give us an overview for a general overview of the entire reading and for what's coming in for you on uh, Valentine's Day for you. And then these uh, oracle cards on both the sides are going to give us some extra expansion, some extra guidance, and hopefully some extra surprises that are coming in for you that day. These messages up here, these heart cards, are going to be some extra messages of love just for you. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm going to face the tarot cards towards myself at first so that I can see exactly what I'm getting from them. And then I will face them towards you so that you can see because this is a new setup for me. So please bear with me until I get used to it. And I do hope that you enjoy it this way. So we have Princess of Cups for the first card. I'm going to lay them all down first. And then I'm going to take a look at them and tell you exactly what I'm getting. But what I can tell you already, right off the bat, is an offer of new love is coming in for you. And then we have Four of Arrows, which is the Four of Swords. Somebody's going to need to rest up for that day because I feel like there's some, some an all-nighter coming in for you. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to put it out there. And then we have Sacrifice. Strength. And then the Eight of Cups. Although this Eight of Cups is quite different from the normal Eight of Cups. So let me take a look at these and I'll tell you exactly what I'm getting. Alrighty. So with the Eight of Cups, because I'm going to work a little bit backwards, I feel like it's more like assessing the situation instead of moving on for it, from it. And I feel like it's more of working on the situation rather than walking away and kind of trying to figure out exactly what it is that you guys feel for each other emotionally if you are in a relationship at this time. And then if you are not, I feel like it's more about kind of feeling out this crush or this kind of like situation that you may be currently dealing with as it is internally. For some of you who are not in an in a, um, emotional attachment or relationship. And then we have strength. So with the strength card, I feel like there's going to be definitely a strong connection between you and another person, whether it's a soulmate or um, your current love partner, who is definitely your soulmate. If you're in a relationship, obviously they're a soulmate. But I feel like there's going to be a strengthening bond and a connection with between you and someone else at this time. And I feel like you've given up quite a lot and sacrificed enough of yourself to where you need to kind of take and pull back from doing that. And kind of give to yourself a little bit more than sacrificing for others so much. And let them kind of sacrifice in return for you. Basically, it needs to be a more equal give and take in this relationship. Instead of you giving all the time or you going to them and saying, hey. And actually asking them for what you need with this card. And then for the Four of Arrows, for the Four of Swords, I feel like with this card... Even if you're on a break, this rest is going to be what's most needed, especially for you to kind of regain your strength with kind of giving too much of yourself to someone or something lately is what I get with this. As well as kind of spending the night with either a new partner or, well, maybe not exactly new, new, but just kind of in the beginning stages of your relationship, I feel like you'll finally get to have that, you know, Spend the night with them and kind of sleep next to them, which will be kind of awesome. And then we have the Princess of Cups. So with the Princess of Cups, I definitely feel like there's a new love offer coming in for some of you out there. And I feel like there's also going to be a lot of um, requests to go on dates or invitations to go out places from someone for you. Whether it be in a group situation or a one-on-one, -on -one, I feel like there's definitely going to be a lot of... Um, new messages coming in and people asking you like, Hey, you want to go out? Hey, you want to come hang out or do what X, Y, Z? You're definitely going to get a lot of requests for your time. People are going to want to be around you. They're going to want to be with you. And it's going to be kind of a new experience for you. 
but it's going to be awesome and it's going to be quite fulfilling is what I get. So let's see what else we get with the Oracle cards. We have relax. Everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all going to be fine. What I hear with this is everything works out in its own divine timing with that. And to know that everything is running smoothly is what I get. And then we have happy thoughts to feel ha to feel happier right now. Think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. So stay positive about this whole newness coming in because I feel like with the new relationship, it's going to have you walking on clouds and feeling like just absolutely in heaven with things. And also I feel like it's going to <clears throat> make you feel like on top of the world because I feel like I'm looking down at the world from here <laughs> with this part of the card and my angle of it. It looks like looking down on earth from outer space type of thing. But still, that's what I'm getting. So for the other messages, we have Moon Tree. So with this, I feel like there's definitely some hidden emotions and feelings that are going to be coming out, especially from one to another or vice versa from you to them. And I feel like there's going to be quite a lot of activity at night is what I'm getting with this. I know it seems kind of strange, but I'm kind of like trying to just feel my way through it and give you exactly what I'm getting. A lot of growth as well together. And then we have expectancy. Yeah. Really, brah? <laughs> right away when I saw this card, I heard pregnancy and I'm just like... I don't like putting that in my readings because I do not like to give false hope. But it's February. It's also baby making season because in October, November, it's baby season for us. Um, my labor and delivery unit. And we get a very, very high influx of patients. Because why? Because everybody loves to do their thing. And this is when we get pregnant is this month around this time because everybody's together. Everybody's in that loving mood. It is what it is. So if you're not looking to have a child right now, you know what you got to do. But if you are, the energy is there for you to take advantage of it. And the timing is right. And then we have miracles. Expecting that little miracle, that little bundle of joy. <laughs> Just to put that out there for those of you who are kind of like looking to conceive and kind of hoping and expecting that maybe this might be it. It may for some of you, it may not, but it's all right nonetheless, because there's a miracle of you guys coming together and having that sense of oneness and that closeness and lots and lots of surprises coming in for you. And a lot of which that I'm not being allowed to get and tell you because it's like, Shh, no, they're not ready yet. Let it happen. <laughs> that type of thing. Little ASMR for you there. <laughs> but anyway, we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So what was I saying about that oneness? Definitely a deepening in relationships for some of you out there and taking things to a more deeper and committed level and kind of getting to know each other on a deeper soul level is what I get with that. And then we have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So you are free to do exactly what it is that you want and love who it is that you want no matter what. So don't let anything stop you, especially if this isn't a same sex relationship because I'm really attracted to the rainbow. Go for it. Explore who you are, love who you are and embrace all of that because it's wonderful and it doesn't matter who it is that you love as long as they love you in return that's all that matters and then we have balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges so enough with the sacrificing let them come to you this time don't give them the easy way out make them work for it a little bit and that way you can bring them in a little bit closer and be, 
like kind of turn the tables on them, make it an equal balance, an equal give and take is what's needed with that. So these are your messages. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading and that some of them at least resonated with you a little bit and know that this is just a general reading. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, all my stuff for that will be down below and know that I'm having a two for one special this month for two for two questions for 20 bucks. It doesn't matter what they are. doesn't matter what the topic is. It doesn't have to be love related. It can be money, life, whatever. If you want to book a personal reading with me for two questions for 20 bucks or whatever on my other personal rates, feel free to email me and I will hook you up. So without further ado, we will be jumping into the Rebel Deck messages in just a sec. And for those who don't choose to watch those messages, know that I love you and have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Alrighty, so it's Rebel Deck time. We're going to use the couple's Rebel Deck for this. So we're going to shuffle a couple times and we will see what we get. I'm like, really? There's a card that's face up. One more time for some cheeky guidance. Yeah, that worked well. It's like, nope. All right. What do they most need to know for Valentine's Day to give them some cheeky, kick you in your ass guidance? I find it a lot easier to get pop-out cards, which are actually quite more on point for me when I shuffle like this. But it's usually only one I feel guided to. And that one wants to come out. And then after this, I will do some book messages to go with each of these. So gonna start off with pile number three instead with the Herkimer diamond. Isn't that pretty? That one we actually found when we went um, to the Ace of Diamonds mine. My daughter found that one on the ground. It's actually a triple diamond, which is kind of rare. And it's got perfect points because it's all terminated. So we have agree to fucking disagree. You see shit different. <clears throat> Excuse me. You see. Yeah, she. <laughs> you see shit differently. Tongue twister there for me. That's life with another person. Good times. So you can see that a little better. So see things from each other's point of views. If you can. Or at least see things. See things. Ugh. See things from their point of view. Got to take a second there and slow down while I'm talking. Otherwise, I'm gonna just make everything one big word for you. <laughs> but anyway, try and see things from their point of view. Try and have an understanding of their point of view, and tell them, I see things. You know, I can. You know, I understand. I see your point of view. I see how you. You know, you're looking at it and stuff. But here's how I see things, so that you can see my point of view and have an understanding of where I'm at with things, that type of thing. And then we have, for number two, we have go solo. Alone time equals happy together. So don't be afraid to take that alone time and be by yourselves and give yourselves those that much needed self-love and that alone time to kind of like pull yourself back together and figure out exactly what it is that you want, what it is you tolerate, and what it is you won't tolerate. Make sense? And then we have, for pile number one, for Yoshi, we have spend time with Bay. Make art, love, or music. So, coming together and doing some creative projects or making that, you know, that love is going to be what's most needed and asked for of this time, for this. And I feel like 
kind of having that enjoyable moment together and just kind of like going with the moment is going to be what's most needed as well as what I hear with that. So let's see what we get for the Love Oracle book messages for you. So how I do this is I run my finger like right there for the Herkimer Diamond. And I feel like what feels like most zingy for me. And that's where I turn the page. So the letter you have chosen is N. Concentrate on the here and now instead. So stay in the moment. Stay present. And I'm going to try and get that there. So and that's how it looks on the book. Stay in the moment. Stay present. Stay focused on exactly what it is that you want. Enjoy that moment by staying in the moment and experiencing it and feeling it for everything that it is and getting the most out of it is what I get with that message. So for the Lemurian, let's see what we get. The number two requires patience with a little longer or wait a little longer. Yeah, with a little longer. Sure, wait a little longer. So with the number two, if you've been seeing this number quite a lot, that's the message for you that is trying to express to you to have patience and take your time and know that things are going the way that they're supposed to be and that things are coming into fruition slowly but surely they are still coming into fruition so let's see what we get for the that one came out kind of weak one with the initial l believes in you know anybody with the initial l look them up love them or leave them your choice that's exactly what i get with this so if there is someone with the initial l in your thoughts know that they are the one that you are actually really thinking of and that they are thinking of you as well so i'm going to do one more for each of you guys to give some more expansion you have picked the letter j your intuition is dead on Ooh. So we'll leave that with Yoshi. So if anyone with the initial J is in your thoughts or your initial begins with a J, then you are dead on with whatever it is that your thoughts are and your intuition is leading you towards is what I'm getting with that. That one was pretty vague because they're just like, let them figure it out on their own. They have to do the work. So for the Lemurian Chords, we have the number five. Suggest there will be consequences. Whoa. Think before you speak, think before you act, and please do not go jumping from the frying pan into the fire because it will cause major transformation that you may not like. But nonetheless, it's transformation. And you may have to clean up a mess if you decide to do something willy-nilly. That's what I'm getting. So, and for the Harkamar, let's see what we got. The gypsy sees a palm tree. You will be happy forever. You guys couldn't get anything better than that. That's an awesome one. So, happiness lies in wait for you. And that's exactly what I get for that. And hopefully you will be happy forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs> Alrighty, these are your messages. I do hope that you enjoyed this wonderful reading. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, and amazing Valentine's Day. And it, I wish nothing but love for you guys. Feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel and you like these videos. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me. Know that I love you and I will see you next video. Have a blessed one, guys.